Hello and welcome to another adventure. We're actually out camping again today, so this is not a treasure hunting video. If you are interested in my treasure hunting and metal detecting content, I'll leave you a recommendation for a playlist here. But no, today we're actually off. We're just camping for one night. We're going to Wilson's Promontory. Now that's located right on the southern coast of Australia, down in the state of Victoria. It does get pretty cold there, so we have got all our warm clothes, but that said, we're nearly into summer. It should be pretty nice down there. Uh, we're hoping to just kick back and relax. It's right on a beach, maybe a bit of play there. Without any further ado then, let's pack up the car and get adventuring. we've arrived. This is Wilson's Promontory. We're at a location called Tidal River which is where all the camping grounds are located. So we're right on the water, right on the ocean. You can see some islands off into the distance there. Absolutely stunning little area. Uh, we've already lost our daughter. She's on top of a rock way over there. <laughs> Hell's with me. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have a nice crazy little adventure. We're just having a casual wander along the beach now. Not really sure what we're going to do for the evening. We're not allowed campfires here, unfortunately, but that's okay. When you've got a view like this, I'm pretty sure we can forego one little thing. Yeah, we'll see what we get up to and we'll document it all along the way for you. All right, so our girl's been over at that rock for a time now. So if you can't beat them, join them. So it looks like we're getting the shoes off. We'll be moving wearing shorts to the beach. Yep. <laughs> Gonna cross the river and probably end up climbing rocks as well. Good times. Ooh. That's cold. Don't swear on camera. <laughs> Suddenly I feel really, really tiny.
<laughs> Why, hello. Hello. <laughs> what you doing up there? Not much. <laughs> Just hang around? That's bad. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Don't think you heard. Oh, I don't think you wanted to hear me. <laughs> but anyway, this is the view from the rocks. So straight over there, that big mountain up there is Mount Oberon. Now, you can drive up to the top of that one, or you can actually walk all the way from the bottom up to the top. It's a walk I'm yet to do, but one day I'll get around to doing it. There are a couple of other mountains off to the side. We're not going to be able to see all of them. I know there's one over there that Al and I have climbed in the past, which is Mount Bishop. I'm just not sure whether we can actually see that one yet, but lots and lots of options down that prom, plenty of trails. It is an awesome part of the world. Well, who needs a metal detector? <coughs> Clearly I've been detecting long enough to find a pull tab wherever I go. <laughs> um, yeah, on to the next target. <laughs> Turns out I really didn't need my detector. We're going treasure hunting today. <laughs> Got ourselves some specs. And there's no one anywhere near us, and who knows if they were even lost today. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. If anyone comes up to us and talks about missing sunnies, uh, we found them. But otherwise, just very cheapies. cool. Just cheapies. <laughs> Good times. So we've got to be quiet here. But if you have a look through that gap, we might have ourselves a little wallaby. Hey, lady. Let's see if I can get you a top down view. Hi. Wildlife galore at the moment. I'm slowly approaching a wombat. I don't know how close we'll get. But they're usually pretty chilled out here at the prom. They're very used to people. And they're very used to stealing food from tents. So we're not actually allowed to leave food in our tents here. He's going to see his butt. Here he is. <laughs> He's a little camera shy. That's all right. We have another wombat. This one's not as shy. So anyway, as I was saying about the food, when you enter Wilson's Prom, you're told not to leave any food in your tent. Because if you do, these guys will actually break your tent to get to it. But as you can see, they're very used to people. <laughs> In the wild you wouldn't normally get anywhere near this close. We'll let him do his thing. I thought you might want a closer look. Pretty cool. Just to give you an idea of how close that is. That's my foot. Oh, good morning. I've had a lovely sleep. It's been a nice calm night. Just packing up the tent now. Staying pretty quiet because it's still pretty early in the morning. But as soon as the general stores open here, I think we're going to be sampling their coffee and having a good start to the morning. After that, might check out Squeaky Beach. So Squeaky Beach is, well, it's a beach, uh, but it's got completely white sand. It's a really unique beach. 
really lovely part to visit. Um, we might do a little walk after that, I'm really not sure. We'll see how we go today. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Breakfast time. Tucking into some bacon and egg rolls at the Tidal River General Store here. Coffee. That's the important part. Coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, let's dig in. Pretty easy. We have company. <laughs> company would very much like to eat our rolls. <laughs> It's not Kano though. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe we'll. Not afraid. Yeah, we won't feed him though. No. <laughs> Very cute. We're going past the roads, we're going to check out the stuff, maybe go on a walk, I'm not sure. And here we are. There's a sign, random sign. And I'm probably going to be heading to the right, up here. I have no idea where the microphones are on these things, so I'm so sorry about the audio if it's kind of choppy. <laughs> That's a mountain. There's a very big mountain. Getting slowly closer to them along the path. Woo! Don't know if you can see it over there, but oh, it just hopped away. I saw a wallaby up and close. <laughs> but there's some really, really beautiful flowers. Gosh, they're really pretty. They're very purple. <laughs> well. Let's continue on. It's going to be pretty tired by the end of <laughs> Oh, wait a second. There's a different colour flower. It's orange. <laughs> well, we have two different types of flowers now. We have orange and we have purple. Nice. Looks like they're the same kind of flower, just they grow on different things. That's pretty cool. Oh gosh, these wallabies, they keep on scaring the living daylights out of me. You can hear them hopping away. It's beautiful clearing out there too. Don't know if you guys can see it that well, but yeah. Give me a second and I think you'll be able to see. But we're right at the entrance. And there's my scooter. <laughs> well, I'll see you when I get back on my scooter. <laughs> We're heading back to the tent. I mean, there probably isn't a tent by the time I'm filming this because uh, we're packing up, getting ready to go. Oh, and here we are. Well, we've made it to Squeaky Beach. It's just a short drive from where we were in Tidal River. Only about yeah, 300 meter walk. Not far, some information. Oh yes, talk to me about plant diseases. Very good. So the appeal of Squeaky Beach is it's pure white sand. You can start to get an idea of it at my feet here, but this is nothing like what you're going to see out on the beach. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really unique. There's only a couple of spots in Australia that do have the pure white sand. Water's flowing. Looking forward to it.
So I don't believe I've explained at this point why Squeaky Peach is called Squeaky Beach. It's not because it's white. It's nothing to do with that. Well, it sort of is. Due to the composition of the sand, it actually squeaks as you walk on it. So let me demonstrate. I might need to scuff a bit, but listen to that. It's a crazy sound. But yeah, that's how it got its name. Pretty cool, huh? Trying to find my family at the moment is like looking for meerkats popping out of a hole. <laughs> There's one of them. I think the other one's around here somewhere. <laughs> Pretty fun little game of hide and seek though, I must admit. These rocks are enormous. I can give you an idea. <laughs> Pretty big. Alright, I'm gonna get out of the water's path here. <laughs> well, I found the other meerkat. Hello. Hello. <laughs> It's not easy finding you guys in here. Ah, there's the other one. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> well, if you can get through it, I can get through it, right? Easier said than done. <laughs> oh, made it. Well, we've had our fun. We're making our way out. We might catch a few more sights on the way out of the national park. Not really sure what we'll do for the rest of the day, to be honest. But it's been nice going without a set plan, just taking our time. We're feeling a lot more relaxed for it. We're calling it a day, the kid's tired, and as you parents would know, when your child is tired, there's no point pushing it any further. But we're gonna just check out one last lookout before we go. And this is a favorite little stop of mine whenever I come to the prom. So this is Glenny Lookout here. As you can see, Sam's already there. Now the reason why you would stop at this lookout is about to become apparent, apart from these two good looking people here. Get a load of that. Islands and ocean and mountains, as far as the eye can see. So if you like this adventure video, please don't forget to leave a like down below. Please drop me a comment. Tell me what sort of places you'd like us to go to and, and showcase to you in the world. Uh, there's so many different options here in Australia. We'd really love to highlight what you'd like to see. Um, but as always, we'll catch you on our next adventure. Cheers. Where is it? That was a good start. <laughs> Didn't even get half a second in. There's a mountain. It's a very big mountain, that. Because the sand has a unique squeak as you walk through it. Which is totally not doing right now. <laughs>